Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, it's a new morning, a new day, super raining, but uh, what are you gonna do? And I left my 335 outside, so it's gonna be a little bit harder to do the job. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my brother's car to the garage. You guys know the whole front end is put together, which means I'm not gonna be dragging anything. Nothing's gonna be pretty much, you know, shaking or anything like that. Not that any of that stuff matters, because, you know, we'll do it air style anyways. But everything is in one piece. We can kind of reverse the car out of the garage. It's gonna get my car out of the way, get my brother's car out of the garage, get my car back in the garage. And then uh, we got a little mod to do on the 335. So for you uh, new N54 owners, or those of you guys who know about our oil catch can, um, I did a Wanna Blast about a month back. And I, I pretty much, I've done all the preventative maintenance from gaskets, you know, to, uh, you know, valve cover gaskets, just simple oil gaskets, um, pretty much intercoolers, everything, even the upgraded charge pop, everything to prevent this car, um, even upgraded. I have to talk about all those upgraded things we do down the road. But I pretty much upgraded everything inside the N54 engine bay to make sure that the car um, doesn't give me reliability issues down the road when I sell my 330i because it's going to be my new daily. So now that we have the whole one blast done, uh, it's time to install the oil catch kit. I haven't got really around the time to do it, and I don't know why I've been just kind of lagging on it. But uh, yeah, here's the oil catch can box with everything that's inside of it. The reason why I'm selling it now and the reason why you should do it after you do a walnut blast is because um, the pur purpose of an oil catch can is to prevent carbon buildup in the engine bay. Uh, I mean, in the engine. So just overall, it's healthier for the engine. It's going to make it run better. Um, and it's, it's going to prevent just buildup. It's just going to, you'll know exactly what I mean once you do a walnut blast. You see all like gunk and stuff like that in your, uh, your, your ports, your whatever it's called. So yeah, your boy is just trying to take care of his baby. So we're going to get her in the garage. We're going to start working on her. And uh, hopefully, that should be the last thing I'll need to have a peace of mind with this car. But yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and get my brother's car to the garage, get my car back in the garage, and uh, start working on it. Just a small little cold start on my 335. Cold start on a 328 F30. Guys, <laughs> I never thought I'll ever be a true tuner. <laughs> Growing up as a young pup, people always told me I was gonna be a racer. I'm just kidding. I just remember those days back in high school when I had a Corolla and I would park where all the cool kids park because I always, always dreamt of just being, you know, part of the car community. And uh, it's just crazy how, how far your life can take you in only a year or two. It's two years later and I actually have like my dream engine bay. She has literally everything I want but a single turbo at this point. And of course, we're gonna sell the oil catch can now. It's gonna look pretty crazy. Here is the oil catch can, guys. It has the gasket in the middle and everything. Um, so yeah, here's the oil catch can I'm gonna be installing. I don't know, should I paint it blue? Should I paint it to match my uh, vacuum lines and my blow-off valve? I think that would look kind of cool. But at the same time, I don't know if that's doing too much. I'm gonna do a little bit of research and uh, I'll get back to you. Before I actually consider on painting it, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all this stuff and I'll think about while I'm working. So just I don't waste any time and at the same time, I'll know I'm able to do the job. I'm hoping this PCV hose is not gonna be as hard as it looks. All right guys, well that was not as hard as I thought. So the PCV is out. See if I think it focus for you guys. It just wants to focus in on my beautiful engine bay. But uh, yeah, PCV's out. Um, basically, I have to just detach this head. Let me just come over here for a second for y'all. All right, guys, now that I have it focused, um, we need this top portion here. It has like a valve right there, so we need to disconnect this. Um, best way to do that, what I, from what I've seen online and from BMW Fanatics' videos, is that you need to heat this up right here. Once you disconnect those from each other, you can just pretty much get rid of this, or you can just put it off to the side just because you want to reuse it. Um, down the road, I don't think you'll ever do, but uh, but you do need this top portion to connect the new hose to it. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start separating this guy so we can start putting our new hoses into this, into all of that, and we'll figure out all the lining. What I do have, I see an issue is because of, uh, I took off, you know, that whole tray over here and I put those cowl filters, that these wires are kind of getting in the way. We're gonna have to figure out a way to arrange those wires properly. It's gonna be kind of snug back there, but um, obviously I want my oil catch can to be back there because that's as long as the hoses get. We'll have to see how that shit works out in a little bit. It needs to be like that. Uh, I'll look at a video, guys, and I'll get back to y'all in a second. All right, so this super long one, you just connect it. What is this brand, actually? So just so you guys know, MCMSCR, whatever. 
I don't know what this is, but it is a brand. So there you go. All right, guys. Uh, the brand that I'm using is MSCR. I don't really know if this means anything, but basically just gonna slap that on there, just like that. It's good to go. Um, gonna go ahead and clip that back, and uh, we'll go ahead and reroute this. We do have some clamps that the kit comes with. So go ahead and just use one of them. Kind of a tight fit clamp if you ask me. How the hell are they expecting me to use the clamps that it comes with? I ain't gonna lie guys. This company really didn't think their shit through. So we're not gonna use their clamps. And I can say that because they didn't sponsor this video. So MSCR, you need to work on your damn clamps. No. So pull out our handy dandy Harbor Freight clamp set. You can never go wrong with this, it was like $5. And uh, let's put that over here. It's kinda tight right here, but not tight enough. And we just gotta tighten it down. That is tight enough. So now that we have the hose clamped down and everything, uh, let's see how this thing plugs in actually. All right, you know what guys? I didn't like this thing in the first place. I'm gonna cut that real quick. So now we got you put a black zip tie instead of this ugly looking white one. Bam, let's get rid of that. Nothing in my engine bay. Move all those hoses. Off to the side here for a second. All right, so it looks like this is workable. Yep, so that will clip in and that will make it all the way over here. So that's good on this one. So we figured out this one. I'm not gonna clip it in just yet. We do wanna figure out what's going on with that other hose. The other hose appears to be a little bit more of a pain. But uh, once we figure that other hose out, we'll be good to go. All right guys, something I noticed is that this thing doesn't directly plug into your, uh, your track. So if I attach this like this, it's too long. It won't make it, actually it won't even, it'll only be at the same exact distance. It won't make it to my oil catch can. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. Uh, I looked up how much these PCV hoses go for, the whole thing, and it's about 40 bucks, brand new, so it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here, and then put this as deep far in there as possible, and then put a, a wash, you know, a clamp on there, and then I'll have the actual OEM clip to clip on. So that's what I want. I want everything to be pretty much an OEM clip so nothing can actually get loosened up. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is just cut this right here, and uh, put this into the hose. All right, and I'm just gonna grind this off to make it look better. All right, now that I got the head that I want off, I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean inside of it, make sure there's nothing there. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all this gunk off as well, just to see, you know, a couple thousand miles later, if we're building up any of this gunk. Uh, so I just cleaned up, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just so you know, it's good. Now it looks pretty clean enough in the inside. Um, so I'll go ahead and go right here. All right, now that we got that piece, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. Still a little kind of big, but I'll make it fit in there. Once I get it to fit in there, I'll show you guys uh, how it looks. All right guys, now that we got our piece in there, that's really not going anywhere. I don't even think I need to put a clamp on that. That's not going, look at that. That is beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put it in there. OEM equipment, and now we got the hose routing over here. So let's go ahead and bring the oil catch can real quick. So the oil catch can needs to be routed. Let's push this hose down here so it doesn't get in our way. Oh, God damn this fitment though. All right, we got this figured out. Let's go ahead and clamp the other hose down. Just get both of the hoses coming out here. All I know is that this hose needs to connect to the outer one, and we need to get the other hose to connect to that one. Now that we got our Next hose, just go ahead and try to route it. I think the best way is to go through here. All right, now that we got that clipped in, uh, and we have our two hoses, this, need be, this needs to be routed underneath, I believe. All right, well now I can see that this hose is stupid long. So, uh, I'm gonna have to mark that and f cut that up and then, uh, I'm gonna have to see how this thing mounts, honestly. I have no idea any of this stuff is gonna work, but we'll try to figure it out. This is a, using a cheaper kit, so uh, for those of you guys who, are, I'm gonna link this exact kit. You guys just do what I'm doing, and you'll be fine. All right, so I got about where I want. I don't wanna mark it exact, because I'm gonna a little bit over. I cut about right here. So now that I got that marked up, I'm just gonna pull that out of here and uh, start cutting her up. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the two clamps in here now. Put this under and over. Put in that right there. Bring that out, put in that right there. Okay. I'm just actually gonna clamp these down, guys, and then we'll figure out how we're actually gonna put this in there somewhere. Okay, so now that I have my uh, kit finally, you know, hosed down, I wish I could just leave it right here. 
because that would work just fine. But we need to mount this thing down. So, and I was thinking, I don't know how we have to get it like this. How? They didn't even give us enough wiggle room to do that. So I was gonna just figure out a way to straighten this thing out. We'll get back to you guys in a second. All right guys, so I just went ahead and put it in, two hoses, routed, and uh, the catch can's right there. Will it focus or does it not want to? Yeah, so it's focused and uh, anyways. Well, catch can's in there, it's not gonna move. You're supposed to screw it on, but I'm not really getting that angle that I want, that I can't to screw it on. But to be quite frank with you guys, this thing ain't moving anywhere. So, I don't really care. It's good, it's, you know, it's there. So without further ado, let me just go put on the engine cover and see if those hoses are getting in the way or not. Go ahead and slap this thing on now. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna get in the way there. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and shave the back end of this beauty cover right here. Cut this off. Um, it's getting in the way of my hosing. How's the bad? The hoses. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and cut that off. All right, guys. Now that it's shaved off, it actually looks better. I don't know. It looks more. I don't know. It looks cleaner. So slap that on there. Hopefully, uh, I don't have to do any more modifications. All right, and that is the OEM fitment. I'm just, unfortunately I can't put the screws on, but I ain't moving anywhere, so it really, really don't matter. Um, now that I have that actually situated, I do wanna get these uh, hoses. I mean, you could just leave them. All right, guys, you can never go wrong with zip ties, especially black ones. I love them black zip ties, so. Um, actually, you really don't need that giant thing because I ain't going nowhere, I'm just gonna get this little, I'm trying to basically keep this gray wire from moving anywhere. All right guys, so now the engine bay is complete. We got the oil catch can installed. Let's go ahead, put down our strut bar here. And look at that. That looks good. We're, don't worry, we're bolts on the strut bar. I'm not, it's all the bolts right here. I'm not janky like that. But yeah guys, that is the install. It's not gonna make a difference performance wise. Besides my engine might last longer. So, I think since we made a good deed, we could take her out for a spin. Um, I actually did end up straightening up the charge pipe because I had a little bit of a boost leak. I think I fixed that. We'll know. I'm gonna take it out for a drive, see if the check engine light comes back on. I'm gonna head over to uh, Yusuf's place and uh, say what's up, you know, just chill. Say what's up some more. Congratulate him on selling the car. Probably convince him to get a BMW. And we'll go from there. All right guys, we're heading over to Yusuf right now and uh, 335 is idling right now just fine. We did notice that it's slightly vibrating the oil catch can. So obviously I'm gonna tell you guys that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and go down to Yusuf and congratulate him. Uh, we'll talk to him once, once we're inside. It's the only door you can open now, right? <laughs> oh, you can get your ass back over here. <laughs> you need to talk to them. They haven't seen you in a long time. What's, What's going up, on, dude? guys? Uh, I quit being a slave because. Oh, of the channel? <laughs> What's up, guys? My name's. Hold Houston. on. <laughs> For those of you guys who haven't seen Yusuf on this channel, it's because like he hasn't been here for a little bit for the F30 videos. The, those of you guys who are new that are subscribed have not and seen him yet. You don't want me. You hired a new cameraman. Don't lie to me, bro. <laughs> he's being like this because he's leaving the car community. I'm not, bro. I'm, <laughs> really? Okay, guys. So I sold my 350Z and I'm getting an M4. And Noor's pissed because I'm getting an M4. And he's jealous. No, I'm kidding. I'm uh, I'm looking for a Civic or a Camry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see what he gets. Yeah, but I mean, for his future plans, we don't know. We might we might have lost a brother in the car community, so we'll see. All right, guys, we are home finally. I went down to Yusuf's. I wanted to say what's up, congratulate him on the car, and that ended up going to Chili's and spending a whole bunch of money, and then going down to the movies. So things happen in life, you know. It's all good, you know. We were, we were just we kind of feeling the moment, you know, when you get like money and you just like. We can chill for a day, you know. We went for the three for ten deal, you know. We went for a pretty good deal at Chili's, and not like we went crazy or anything. So, you know, it worked out. We had a good time, and today's Tuesday, so the movies were six dollars per person. So again, it was super cheap. 
we had a good time. Can't always spoil yourself with, uh, can't always just spoil your cards. You gotta have some fun yourself sometimes. So it's okay, we don't do this all the time. But yeah, the two cards are there. Uh, the oil catch can, we do have to figure out, uh, figure out another way to mount it properly because when I was driving, whenever I come to a, a standstill when the engine just vibrates, um, I do hear the metal hitting against the, the bar. So I do have to figure out a way to keep it mounted without moving, which is not a big deal. I'll show you guys that in another video, probably not a separate video, of course, like in with another video. Um, I'll just integrate it, show you guys that. It is, you know, dark and raining right now, so I don't really want to go outside. My parents, I had to bring my dad's car in here because uh, my dad almost kicked my booty last night. He's like, why is my car out for the third night in a row? You said to bring it in the same night, and I'm just like, yeah, about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That concludes the video. Uh, just hanging out for a little bit today, and then uh, we just installed the old catch can. Uh, but I also fixed up my charge pipe because I did get a check engine light the other day after driving for five minutes. And the check engine light did not come back, so that's great. Also, guys, I want to announce something that I'm doing for this, uh, for the for me, for the rest of my builds. I don't know if you guys can see if it's gonna focus in or not. Uh, but basically, it's not straightened out. I'll probably still have to work on, uh, you know, centering it up. But uh, you guys can read it for the most part. If you guys want to pause the video. Basically, it's just something I'm gonna be hanging up on the wall next to my, you know. Let me show you guys how janky this is right here. For me, I don't know. For me, I like to like frame accomplishments or just frame uh, things that are memorable. And for example, like when we hit 10K, I made myself my own play button. I don't know if you guys can see that. Why is the focus like so bad? But yeah, I made myself my own play button. I'll show you guys that down the road. And then uh, we went ahead and made this little plaque right here. Uh, basically what the second one is, the first one is for 10k because you know, it's a, it's a big deal to hit 10k. So shout out to everyone who subscribed from the start. I'm actually still working on a 20k video. I want to do something for you guys though for a 20k video, so I'm still working on that. And uh, shout out to you guys, we were actually 500 subs past that already in a matter of a couple days. So you guys are just killing it. But yeah, the whole YouTube, um, the second plaque I made is for the 335. Shouting out all the companies and all the people who sent out things to make the car what it is today. It would have been nothing without you guys. So for the companies um, that really made the build, uh, more affordable for me actually allowed me to finish the car as a college student and shout out to the people who actually sent me some things uh, That made it more affordable for me to build again um, You guys I, I really can't thank y'all enough And I can't just have your guys' names on the car because you never know what can happen to a car a car can come a car can go But that will never go so I made it and I'm about to like put it up on this wall I'm about to like put up all the uh, you know the supports from you guys on this wall right here um, haven't told my dad about that idea, but uh, Let's just say if it's on the wall. I probably got I probably, uh, I offered him a good deal for something, you know what I'm saying? So for you guys who've supported the channel and you guys' Instagrams that were on there and the companies that were on there, huge shout out to you guys. You guys will be put on the wall for as long as I could possibly live in this world. And, uh, it, you know, if I end up moving out and taking those, I'm taking it to my next house and put it up on the garage for every single build that I ever do, for everyone who supported it. So shout out to all you guys. Now I don't want to drag this outro any more than it is, so I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know, you're all.